Nelson Mandela is going home. The 80-year-old father of South African democracy has retired from public life. Now he's looking forward to a quiet retirement in his home village. Nelson Mandela's career is often referred to as a long walk, but his final week in office has been more like a 100-metre sprint, culminating in a rousing reception in Parliament for the formal election of his successor, Thabo Mbeki. I accordingly declare Thabo Mbuyelwa Mbeki duly elected as President of the Republic of South Africa. In the twilight of the Mandela presidency, there's been little time for reflection during a furious round of final engagements. In one of his last official duties, President Mandela presenting a round of national awards, recognition that South Africa's democracy is not entirely his own work. He's also played host to one of the ANC's closest allies, Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, who's on his first overseas visit since the lifting of sanctions against Tripoli. But after a full life on the international stage, the comforts of retirement are beckoning. I would like her to return to my village and uh, to be able uh, to walk around the valleys and the little hills and the streams around which I grew up. Thabo Mbeki's inauguration as South Africa's next president brings the curtain down on the Mandela era but it's also given South Africans an opportunity to reflect on an extraordinary life.